All right, hey, welcome to UNG. I'm Davey. And I'm Chris. And we are starting our playthrough on Pikmin. Uh, this is like one of my one of my first games. One of my first, uh, definitely my first GameCube game, because I'm pretty sure this was a launch title with it. But one of my first games, and I really, really love it. I have played it, the newest one, sort of recently with Davey. So I kind of know what this is, unlike uh, other games that we've played. Oh, oh, I didn't know uh, I didn't know how to save file. Not anymore. I think I played that. Okay, I think I played this recently, and I was able to beat it in 16 days. So you get 30 days. But I was able to beat it in 16 because I'm I play this game way too much. 16 real life days. No, no, no. Like in game days. Spent 20 okay. hours a day playing this game. There is a possibility. Like as a kid, I replayed and replayed this. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh no, dude. Watch out. Look out, little bro. His antenna is clipping through that. Oh no. So he gets pwned and he falls down to a mysteriously Earth looking planet. Wow, that looks a whole lot like Earth. <laughs> Me and my brother, when we were watching this game, or watching this, we tried to see where all the parts flew. Because, like, the main premise of this game is you have to find all the pieces to fix the ship. And we were like, oh my god, look at those pieces. Oh, that's those specific pieces that land in this area. <laughs> and now as I'm older, I'm like, oh, that was, that was really dumb. No, not at all. That's just an animation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's a, there are big, like, screen fulls of text. So I'm just going to give you the gist. Hey... Uh, stuff got broke. Gotta find the engine. Uh, it's a good theory to say this is Earth because there's poisonous oxygen. And so he's gonna die in 30 days unless I fix it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Simple enough. Yeah. This is the weirdest start to a game because you have no camera controls. Well, you can switch it behind him. But other than that, you can't zoom out. You can't anything. This is obnoxiously zoomed in. Yeah, and you had to... That's That's the thing I gotta find, but like... When I first played this game, I was like, where the hell do I go? I can't see anything. There we go. A nice cartoon spaceship. It's really creepy legs. Yeah. It's like one of those, uh... Ah, oh, look, it's a thing. One of those walls of text. No, it's like one of those water spiders. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. This is such a tedious tutorial. Because it, it is blocks of text and just long cutscenes for no reason. Unskippable. Literally, this is walk up to it and press A. So, Whoa! Ah, oh, look at him. You picked up on that fast, buddy. I hate you. You're a quick learner. Extraordinary. Oh yeah, and he says he calls him Pikmin because they look like some carrots on his alien homeworld. Oh, camera they controls. Like carrots, so it's called them Pikmin. <laughs> no, they're Pick Pick brand carrots. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yep. And now it's just doing this. I have top strats in this game. Top strats. Not speedrunning strats, but like, I know how to kill. Everything really fast. Oh, yeah, blah blah blah. You take food to the thing to get more You you throw your little dinguses at the flowers and then they get bottle caps and you use those bottle caps To buy and, more and put them inside of the thing. Yep They never really explain what these are supposed to be Like sometimes little animals and stuff that kind of make sense and then they're like, oh yeah, you collect pellets from these plants. Yeah, yeah, that works. They're like food thing. Yeah, like food pellets. Yeah. And the camera loves to zoom in for whatever reason when you do that. See, the newer one that we played didn't do this, like, jerk around stupid camera. Not really. It was with the later installments that kind of, like, make the camera way more fluid. And not dumb. Yeah. 
Uh, there's so many issues with this one, but so this game started out as like a proof of concept thing. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure on the um, background, but they made this uh, tech demo for the GameCube. Uh, where there were a hundred Mario's on screen and you had to you could like control them and stuff like that It was supposed to be like wow look the GameCube we can handle like a hundred sprites working individually at one time Whoa, wasn't that crazy? And um, that's where this game came from. Okay, I can see that they look like little tiny Mario's <laughs> Well like a hundred sprites. Yeah, and like these guys You can only have a hundred of them on screen. So it's kind of like almost a direct correlation with that. It's interesting to see what we found so crazy when it comes to hardware, like, how many years ago? This was 2001, so like, 15, 15 years, ago? years ago? Jesus. Yeah. This is older than my brothers. Is it really? Um, half of them. <laughs> half of the two. Oh my god. Can you guys hurry it up? Yeah, no. When you get when you get into later levels, it's way more involved. Yeah. <laughs> For now, it's you have one type of Pikmin. Do your thing. Throw them in the box. You can actually use the C stick and like push them into it. Oh, yeah. They got rid of that in the most recent game. Did they? Yeah, which is garbage. Actually, I think if you use the Wii U Pro controller, you can do it, oh. but not 100% sure. I think, I think you can. In which case it redeems the game, because having that C-stick control was the best. Yeah. Otherwise you're just like wildly throwing little dudes. It's also why you should never use the nunchuck when you play Super Smash Brothers. Oh my god. No, GameCube controller only. Well, I don't have I don't have that many. Oh, oh. You don't have nah, that don't many Mad Cats controllers. Yeah, no, I only have uh, Wii U. You guys always get mad at me, but I don't want to buy like five uh, GameCube controllers for the Wii U, especially since it's getting like phased out in like a couple months. Oh yeah, the Nintendo Switch. Whatever it is. Or whatever. Yeah. Ah. Uh, what be that? Looks like a, a mine or something. It does. You guys should be careful. <laughs> There's no mistaking, that's clearly an engine. Yeah, no. And it's weird that it's working when completely separate from the, uh, the ship. The marbles of technology. <laughs> Oh my god, these little dudes. You know, they really are hustling, if you... Yeah, when you how think about it. They are. Yeah, so how you can... fast could you carry a couch down the hall? Uh, not that fast. Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever, you... I was doing this already. No, see, the, the idea here is to walk up to them and press A so you can pick them out of is the ground. Is it? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to be doing here. Wouldn't have known. No. Ah, crap. Hey, look, you're zoomed in. Yeah. And then it takes forever to do this. See, I'm spoiled. I love this game, but at the same time, I really like the second one more. And they fixed all these little annoying issues in the second one. You don't have but, to wait as long in the second one for them to grow. Yeah, it takes like half the time. Uh, there's a bit of a like, okay, so if I dismiss them and I try to get them, see how it kind of takes a little bit for them to like, react? They're a little slow, and in the second one, it's like, just a snap of the fingers, they're right by, right by your side. They got that hot too. Exactly. But it's the second one's also got way more stuff and is way harder. Yeah. But this has a special place in my heart. Deep down in my heart. I still love you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had a friend from high school who was, what show was that? Is it, no, it's not My Strange Addiction. 
whatever show that clip is from and he said he was actually watching the show just because whatever and it was that episode and it's like Mari or something like that one of those uh... yeah something like that but he was seriously was just watching it and then that guy cried like that and he just broke out laughing <laughs> Oh yeah, I love how the little pieces actually show up. Oh yeah. I don't know how this dude is gonna survive space. Yeah, space travel without the majority yeah. of your hull. <laughs> uh, okay, now we can take off. We gotta check out these little dudes running. Yeah, where are they gonna go now? They climb up into the little spaceship and they come up with me. Oh yeah, they get their own little spaceship, I forget. Their little tomato ship. <laughs> it, one thing that was kind of sad is that usually predators come out here, right? Usually during the night, the predators come out and eat the Pikmin. Yeah. But like, the game never quantified how many you lost. So like, if you lost one or you lost like a hundred, only one Pikmin would show up. So, like, as a kid, I was like, oh, my God, did I really fuck up? Did I just, like, lose all my Pikmin? And then you'd have to come to this screen and tell you whether you lost, like, a million or just one. Oh, okay. But in the second one, they all, like... <laughs> but in the second yeah, one... Yeah, if you leave a hundred out, they're, like, a hundred getting slaughtered by the lo local wildlife. That's really sad. Yeah, it is. All right, well, that is our first episode of Pikmin. But it's going to get way more interesting. That was just the tutorial level. I swear to God, it's going to be better. Please don't unsubscribe. Unsub now. Do it. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Later. Bye. I can't move this pinky, this pinky independently. My left hand. So I mean, they, they move together. But this one doesn't. But this one does. I think that's because you're a freak. Yeah! Okay.